a very mysterious trick with three ropes. A small rope, a medium rope, and of course a long rope. So they really are different sizes. Little one, there's the medium one, and there's the larger one. If we place them all end to end and stretch them, we can change them so they're now the same size. This one was the little one, this one was the medium one, and this one was the big one. Three ropes, all the same size. To change them back again, all we do is we give them a flick and they change back instantly. We have a little one, we have the medium one, and we have the large one. For this trick, we have three ropes. A small one, which is next to the thumb, medium one, and a long one. First part of the routine is we take the small rope and place it here, and we twist these two around. We then take the middle rope and place it there. And we take the last rope and place it on the end. So you can see there's a cross over here. So if I then take the three on this side and the three on that side and pull, what happens is appear to be the same size. I can now count them. I take the middle rope and pull and I count number one. I'm now going to count rope number two, but I'm not really going to take this rope. I'm actually going to swap the two ropes and count two. This is my linked rope, two. Rope number three, I count like this, number three. So I've counted three ropes and they appear to all be the same size. But really, the little rope is here. Now to make them change size again, we take one end of the long rope and we place it here. And then we let go of the short rope. We're gonna let go of this little rope. And what happens is we end up with a little rope, the medium rope, and the long rope. A great trick.